here in this session, uh, let us have a look on uh, apparent weight of a body in a lift. See, for, um, before going to that, so you consider a floor. On that floor, there is a body placed on the floor. So, a body is having some mass m. So, the downward force applied is mg as it is pulled by the earth downward so that is mg and if this mass is balanced on the floor that means how it is able to be uh, on the floor that is due to the floor as the mass is pushing the floor downward the floor is also pushing the mass upward that is also mg only so pushing the floor downward by the mass is action and the floor pushing the mass upward is reaction or that is called as reaction force and we know that these two are same see if the floor is able to give the sufficient reaction force then only the body can be stable or stationary if the floor is not able to give uh, a particular uh, sufficient reaction force then see if it is not giving the reaction force as these two are equal this is stable here if uh, mg is more what will happen to the body the body will come down slowly as these two reaction force and mg are same the body is stationary here if mg is more and uh, floor is unable to give such reaction force the body will come slowly down see we can experience uh, uh, in some situations for example you consider uh, children jumping on trampoline see while jumping what happens the trampoline will go down see while going down uh, that means it is not able to give a sufficient uh, reaction force for the mass so it will go down and again due to its elastic nature it will push up so uh, while coming down or going up or pushing them pushing the child up um, there will be some change in the weight of the uh, particular body so in the same way uh, while a person is traveling in a lift there are some changes so first let us consider those uh, changes uh, case one in case one, uh, we can consider that lift or elevator at rest or it may be at rest or it may move with a uniform velocity. Both are uh, same cases rest or uniform velocity so consider a elevator and there is a mass in the elevator so mass m and as we are saying the lift is at rest so that means it is stationary and this mass is applying some force on the uh, surface of this elevator towards down that is mg as it is uh, applying some force downward on the lift lift also will give a sufficient uh, reaction on the body that is reaction force r so as we have discussed it before and here we are talking that lift is at rest that means acceleration is also zero if acceleration is zero, the net force, the net force is also zero. That means, see here, as these two forces are same, what will be the reaction force? Reaction force are minus mg. See, reaction force is upward and mg is downward. Is equal to, see the net force is, net force F, that is zero. That means it is 0. R minus mg is 0. 
then now we can write this as r equal to mg r is equal to mg this is the weight when the lift is at rest when the lift is at rest the reaction force is equal to our weight that means our uh, actual weight will be uh, showing on and let us consider a case 2 in case 2 uh, lift is uh, accelerating upward see actually if you observe the movement of the lift see first if it is uh, down consider it is down if it is moving up first it will accelerate first it will be at rest and then it starts to accelerate and next it will come to uniform velocity after that if a floor comes it will uh, retard and it will come to rest so you consider zero zero is the initial velocity of the lift as it is accelerating it will come 1 meter 2 3 4 5 after it is getting 5 uh, it will maintain that 5 5 5 5 5 5 and as the floor is approaching it will uh, retard 4 3 2 1 0 and it will come to rest so in second case we are considering that uh, lift is accelerating up see when the lift is accelerating what happens is again a lift is there which is having a upward acceleration and uh, if mass is placed uh, inside the lift and the mass will apply some force on the lift that is mg and as the lift is accelerating upward the mass also will accelerate upward a and the reaction force is r so here which one will be greater as the lift is accelerating up we have to consider the reaction force is greater than mg that's why the body is going down as we have discussed in previous year if mg is more body will come down if r is more a body will go up here mg is less than r so that's why the lift is accelerating up so r is greater so r minus mg is equal to the net force net force is ma f equal to ma reaction force r equal to mg plus ma so a reaction force r will be if you take m common g plus a see and if you consider here when it is at rest reaction force r equal to mg that is our weight and here r equal to mg plus ma that means our weight will increase uh, our, our weight and it is having something more than that so that's why our weight will increase in this case our weight increases here it remains same if it is lift is at rest or moving with uniform velocity weight remains same if uh, the lift is accelerating upward the weight increases or our weight increases and in the same if you consider case 3 case 3 lift is accelerating downward lift is accelerating downward so again consider a lift a mass is placed on the lift and now the lift is accelerating downward that means the mass also will accelerate will have an acceleration downward and the mass will have a force downward that is mg and this mg is balanced by an upward force a reaction force r so here if you consider as the lift is accelerating downward which one will be greater reaction force or mg mg will be greater that means mg minus r is equal to net force ma or this can be written as reaction force to find the reaction force r equal to mg minus ma 
or this can be written as r equal to m of g minus a see here we are saying that r equal to mg minus a that means as the mg is our weight minus ma that means something it is reducing that means when the lift is accelerating downward our weight decreases see in the same way uh, in some situations like uh, bungee jump if a person is jumping from a uh, height bungee jump so he will feel this why what he will feel he will feel weightlessness that is called weightlessness why this weightlessness takes place as he is jumping from heights the acceleration of the person will be equal to this small g we know the small g value is 9.8 meter per second square that means a reaction force r equal to he will have some mass m and this g that means 9.8 and acceleration of the person will be equal to 9.8 9.8 minus 9.8 so r equal to m of 0 so the reaction force will be 0 as the reaction force is 0 the person have weightlessness he feels weightlessness see whenever uh, we are uh, existing in the, on the earth surface uh, almost all the situations while standing or walking we are pressing to the floor and the floor will press us up or if you are sitting in a chair we are applying some force on the chair chair will give the upward force if you are sleeping on a bed we will apply some force on the bed bed also will give the same force towards that means every time any any object or anything is pushing us up floor chair bed but while jumping or uh, jumping from heights or like bungee jump no no one will push us that means our reaction force will become zero and the weightlessness takes place and these are the three cases uh, for uh, apparent weight of a body in a lift see here we have our actual weight if the lift is at rest or uh, moving with uniform motion or uniform velocity but if the lift is accelerating upward or coming downward uh, our weight changes while lift accelerating upward, our weight increases. Lift accelerating downward, our weight decreases.